This is where we left in the previous video by avoiding duplication of a review by a single user. In this video, we are going to calculate the total reviews and average review. For this logic, we can implement it inside the controller itself, meaning that when a product is being reviewed, then we can calculate the total reviews and then the average reviews. But to make our life easier, I'm going to show you a technique called virtuous. So let's get back to the product model. So this is a product model. And what are virtuous? Well, virtuous are properties that does not persist on the record inside our database. But upon querying, we can have that property on the model. So here, we need to add the properties that we want to the model. So here, I will add something like virtuous. And the first virtual, we want to calculate total reviews. Again, to be able to know the average rating, we need to perform some mathematical operations here. First of all, we want to know the total number of ratings. Then we find the average, all right? So first of all, let's add the total rating. And it goes like this. On the schema, which is the product schema, on that we have a property called virtual. All right. And as a function call, we are going to pass in any property that we want to have it on the product model. And what I want to add is called total reviews. All right. And the next one going to be dot a function called dot get. And this dot get, we pass in a callback function. And this one, we are going to use normal function because we want to have access to this keyword. So inside here, we have access to this keyword. So if you console.log this, let's have a look well. So what is this keyword? This keyword represents the instance of the product that we are fetching. Right, so if we go to the postman and make a request to fetch a single product, and if you check our terminal, let's have a look. Well, let me remove the console log from the review controller. I think I have some console log here. Well, not this one. So let me add some text here called this and comment this to know that I'm console logging the right keyword called this. All right, so let's check and let's scroll up here. And all right, this is reviews. Yeah, you can see that we have this. So this represents the instance of the object. In this way, it is the product. And which product? The single product. And we have these properties of the product as we see over here. So now we can take the reviews array and use dot length on that. Do you get it? Yes. So here we need to return or I can assign const product equal to this keyword. All right. And now I can use product instead of this. Okay, so going to be as return product dot reviews dot length. All right, so with this one, let's remove the console log. I have done that one already. So if you find a product, you're going to have a field called total reviews. So let's see. And we have it here as total reviews, which is six. And if you check the array of reviews, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. We have six reviews. So now we know the total reviews. The next step is that we want to calculate the average rating. And this is how going to be. We are going to grab the total number of ratings. All right, we are going to sum them up. And after that, we are going to divide by the total rating, right? 
so let's get back to the model and let me add a comment here called average rating all right so we're gonna be as the product schema dot virtual and average rating and dot get put it as a string pass in callback function and we are going to calculate the total rating and we can get it from the reviews right so over here we can use reduce method to get the total reviews or we can use for each method all right so it goes like this let's assign the total ratings as ratings total by default is zero so we are going to use for each to add up the ratings inside the rating all right so this so let me assign to a variable called product is equal to this keyword now we will take the product on that we have reviews and we are going to use for each on the review and for each is a function that's going to attract to the individual element inside the reviews array and we can perform some operations on that so in here we have access to the individual review and i'm going to use arrow function this time around over here for the review so if you console log the review as you saw we're going to have the review only and on that we have a rating property so let me avoid the console log and let's continue so inside here i'm going to reassign the ratings total plus equal to then inside the review we have a field called rating so if you check if you check the response we have the rating so let's see this one let me expand yeah i have it here rating right so i'm adding up all the rating assign it to the ratings total do you get it yes so let's save it here all right so next step is that we are going to calculate the average rating as we did over here so um here i will say calculate average rating and i'm gonna be as let's find the total reviews so it goes like this const average rating is equal to i want to convert all of them to a number because i want to use fix on it because for review i want to have a fixed value all right so here i'll pass into number or for the meantime let's ignore the number first and let's work on the average rating first so for the average we are going to grab the ratings total do you get it and divided by the total number of reviews all right so here we have the product and dot reviews and we are going to use dot length on that and this will give me the average rating so if i go ahead and console.log the average rating you're going to have the result so let's return here as average rating and that is it so with this one let's make a request to the product and let's go down and we have average rating of five because for each of these rating, the user give the product five, 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 five. So the rating here is five and we have the total reviews. Then if I go ahead and give a new review, so let's remove this check-in here. I want to have some duplication of reviews. I want to make sure that it is working. So I want to review the same product, but this time around, I want to give a review of one. And let's search for the single product and let's see the review and now we have the average rating of 4.4 so i want to convert this one to one decimal place so i want to use fix on the result so let's get back to the product that is why i want to 
convert everything to number and use to fix on that. So I'll cut from here and use number and function call paste it and use dot to fix and one there's my place so let's send the request and now we have 4.4 rating great all right so let me bring back the check-in for the rating and even for this we can create a middle row for that but i think this one is okay for our likeness all right guys so let's continue in the next video